All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here with another exercise index video. We're training back today and we're doing low rows. I thought I would do a video on this today, a very basic exercise. It's a very effective exercise though, and there's different ways you can do the row to target different areas of your back. There's also a lot of ways you can kind of mess it up. So I just wanted to take you through a low row and how I think you can use them effectively. So <clears throat> first of all, is what I want you to think about when you're doing these, is I want you to think about your elbows and drawing your elbows back as opposed, as opposed to just pulling with your arms. So I see a lot of people kind of doing like this. It's a lot of bicep work. I want you to forget about your arms and just think about your elbows. So I'm just drawing my elbows back. That puts a tremendous stress on your lats, just doing that. So forget this, draw your elbows back. Now the next thing I want you to do is I want you to think about the position of your sternum. So what I see is I see people get tired or they do all their sets like this where they kind of cave in their chest like this. And it turns it again more into biceps. I want you to focus on keeping your sternum lifted, okay? So this way, as opposed to this way. If your sternum is lifted, it's a lot easier to engage your lats. Now, what about where should you pull the bar in? You can do a couple different things. If you want to get more kind of in your lower lats where they attach down at the bottom, if you want to place a little bit more stress there, which is what I normally do, draw your elbows in nice and low too, right on top of your legs, like this, as opposed to pulling up. So, well, look at how low the bar is coming. See that? Right, right along your legs. Now, if you want to get a little bit more into your rhomboids or your lower traps, or even your upper lats, then just pull a little higher. So instead of pulling here, now I want you to pull here. Again, draw your elbows back and squeeze. Try to like visualize in your head, try to like visualize your shoulder blades doing this, okay? So here, so that would be more upper and this would be more lower, right here. So here and here, okay? Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you is the attachment that you use. I like to use these little, I call them spongy grips. And these give you a lot of versatility too, because now your hand, your wrist can rotate. So if you want to get a little bit more supination, now we can supinate a little, okay? If you want to do them more pronated, we can do them that way. So the reason why you would want to do these pronated is if you're looking more at your rear delts, your lower traps and rhomboids, kind of shoulder to shoulder, all across that upper back. You're going to use a pronated grip right there. And if you get, get if, again, if you want it more in lats, especially in your lower lats, now you're going to get a little bit of supination. You don't need to come up all the way. In fact, I don't like it. I don't like to use a bar that forces you into that. I think it's very hard on your wrist and I think it's very hard on your lower bicep and you can injure yourself. What I prefer to use, I prefer you use a grip that feels comfortable. So for me, it's going to be about right here. So right there. I can really draw my elbow back and squeeze my lat. So, so again, you can use this exercise for rear delts, rhomboids, lower traps, lats, really all of it. Um, the last thing I want to mention is how you start the, the, the body position. How do you maintain your uh, torso? So a lot of times when people start, they'll kind of jerk the weight and get the momentum going. I'd rather see you start with your lat pulling your elbows. And then listen, if you want to use a little bit of momentum, a little bit's okay. So, so I'm using a little bit of momentum 
but it's not, you know, it's not terrible. And that's okay. I think sometimes we try to take these movements and listen, I love to train strict, but sometimes we try to make them so strict, you don't even let your body work. You don't even let it move. Now, some people uh, come back a little bit like right here. And I hear people say, no, 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 that doesn't work your back. It absolutely can work your back. So let me change the grips again. If you want to come back a little bit right here, that's okay. As long as you're drawing your elbows back, that's still going to be a lot of back, a lat work. Now, one final thing. How about the forward part? Should you lean forward and stretch? I am A-OK -okay with that. As long as when you come up, you do a control. So stretch, and on this machine here, I can't quite get the full stretch, but you know what I mean. So as long as when you come out of the stretch, you're strict. I like that. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to duck my head and reach. That's how I actually stretch. But just come out strict as opposed to just jerking with your lower back. So I think if you can incorporate kind of all those little things, it'll make these low rows much more effective for you. So give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks. And we'll see you next time. If you like that video, I know you're going to love my app available on the Google Play Store for Android, iPhones, and the Apple Store. There's so much information on here, it's amazing. Training, workouts, hundreds of workouts, nutrition methodology questions, chemical enhancement, supplementation, client prep, and a Q&A button. Check it out.